are today at Steamtown uh, National Historic Site in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And we'll take you along for our day, so stay tuned. And we don't have a coat on. Yes. It's warm today. What is it, 70? 70 degrees. Love and love. Thought I wasn't videoing. <laughs> Are you ready to ride? I'm ready to ride the train. <laughs> Hope Jesse James don't show up. Oh. <laughs> He'll get hit mighty slim on this trip, not unless he's got a card swipe. <laughs> that was holding on. This in, area, in this area and the Lackawanna in general. So it was, uh, like I said, it was about comfort, it was about people doing their jobs in the railroads. So um, nowadays, you know, some people will have these cars made in this different circumstances. Go to Stratford, for example, they have a whole line of cruises that are hotel, uh, or actually hotel homes. But, um, <laughs> yeah, they've done that in Chattanooga, Tennessee, too. They Chattanooga Railroad. And there's some passenger cars in Chattanooga too. Yeah. A lot of passenger cars yeah. there. Uh, yeah. Hotel. Okay. That's where you fed the boiler. Okay, Big Daddy, run this train. I'm gonna break it. Oh dear, this is not good. I got everything wired up and we're gonna be swinging to hit the hit the road. And this is the last little valve. Okay. And then you push the pedal? There ain't no pedal push to release What's the brake. This. Most pedal see what it does. I think that's broken. Oh. That's where the all the this is way. it coal they put in here? Yeah, they probably use coal up here some. Some it's wood, right? Some wood, some coal. Let's see what's in here. That's where the coal was. They had to shovel it out. I can get the camera in there. Solar panel up in there. So you shovel the coal out and then you put it in there and you yep. keep on going, right? Yep, it keeps the bowl of hot, which in turn keeps the water hot. And the water turns the steam, 
and the steam went through all these little pressurized up to make the little the wheels turn. You go outside so and you have to look at this. I'm gonna go in the visitor center now and I'm gonna teach us. Which I think I just learned, but we'll give it a try. Yeah. He said, see me, he said, I'll take you. To the bookstore or museum shop because this um, Steamtown National Historic Site is in our passport book. So we're gonna get it stamped and have another one in our collection. Okay, Steamtown. Are these both the same? I don't know. What's the date? Is it the 20th today? Okay. Is it the 20th today? Ah, uh, yes. from this collection right here that I picked up in the gift shop and we also got a sticker I'm sorry it's a little dark um, not a sticker a magnet to add to our collection so yep that fits perfectly right there I'm telling Big Daddy it's raining because I can feel it he says uh -huh, you don't feel it it's not raining but that's okay there's another train right there and we're gonna walk over and see. Bought my car today. Big Daddy has oil changed on it. I'm gonna fill it up with gas because yes, I'm going on a little bit of a road trip soon. Without me. <laughs> I'm leaving Big Daddy. But sis has decided she wants to do to try out full-time RV life too. And she wants me to help her downsize. So the dreaded I'm, <laughs> downsizing. I'm going to help her out. So anyway, I got my oil changed. I'm gonna fill the car up because I think I leave in like two days. So anyway, here's the the train. Well, you can tell it's from up north. It's got rust on. It. <laughs> that is. Cool. All the trains we've seen today have been very, very cool. Well, that one's got some big old wheels on it. Yeah. Big old coal car, too. Well, there's a sign down here. Yeah, there you go. Originally built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works during the mid 1920s, 
uh, heavy duty freight locomotives. Most yeah, let's people. show them how big it is. Hold that. Okay. And I'll go stand. <laughs> now, please, y'all granted that uh, Bubbles is about 5'7. And the track is probably 5 inches before the bottom of the wheel. And, and she is that tall to it. It is over her head. And the liquid sunshine is falling. So oh, 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 you agree with me now. <laughs> no, I said liquid sunshine. I did not say rain. It's not rain. It is liquid sunshine. <laughs> but it gets you wet because I can feel it. But that's okay. We won't melt. But yeah, that those those uh those wheels were very big. That was the boss hog of the day, that's for sure. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll be back soon with more videos. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Uh.